Fang is a zoning and trap type character who can uh, deal damage over time and has some really unique options. Some very unconventional inputs. And who I think is going to require some interesting work just to see how he's supposed to play. As always, let's start by talking about his mobility. Uh, movement options, you know, he has walk, of course, kind of middle of the road, not terrible, not fantastic. Dash, you know, not terrible, sort of same. He also has a, a very floaty but far jump. So some floaty characters have jumps that don't move very far forward, but Fangs, um, as you can see, he has giant range on it. He also has a command dash, which is Dragon Punch plus Kick. Short, forward, heavy kick, and then EX, of course, is the farthest and fastest and uh, actually has some startup invincibility. You can also use, and this is an important tool, Stand Roundhouse uh, to move around can, is actually kind of nice for you. And then the Rush Punch, um, you know, can sort of move forward and attack at, at interesting spots as well. Fang's important ground buttons uh, include Stand Strong, which is cancelable on the first hit, pretty good range. Crouching Strong, pretty good range as well, also cancelable. Uh, stand Short has good frame advantage, pretty good range for itself. Crouching Medium Kick has an excellent hitbox. Um, stand Roundhouse, important for attacking while keeping charge, uh, and also you know can be linked out of, important in combos. Stand Fierce, important for uh, Crush Counter. Where Fang starts to get a little bit weird is in his special moves. First couple are not so strange. First one is a mine or a bomb, whatever. Short version knocks down, doesn't leave anything. Medium doesn't knock down, but does leave this little bomb for a little bit. Roundhouse, a little bit slower than medium, but leaves a bomb, a mine for longer. And the nice thing about that is that it will absorb fireballs. EX will absorb two fireballs or an EX fireball. Really gives you some time. And the fact that that's controlling space like that means that you can, you know, start doing other things. Uh, if the opponent tries to walk through the mine, they'll get hit. If they land on it from the jump, they'll get hit. Although, do note that if Fang gets hit, they go away. Uh, the EX version also, very important for combos. Uh, and then you saw the rush punch right there, so let's talk about those. Uh, jab version, shortest range. You know, fierce, longer range. More damage, strong is in between, medium is, is in between. Uh, at max range, these, these are all safe. Up close, definitely not safe, but they do knock down, so they're important in combos. Uh, EX is minus three up close, safe against most things in the game. Some buttons, some special moves can punish, but uh, most cannot. Uh, max range, though, it can actually be plus on block. It, it can be really good. Um, now, the other, the other thing to note about them is that they absorb fireballs on their way over. Not on startup, so you do have to sort of be predictive about this, but important to note that. Now, the weirdest thing about Fang in my view, is the fact that his fireball is done as down charge, up plus punch. Very unusual to have a space control option be out of down charge like this. So fierce, farthest, medium in the middle, jab goes the shortest range, but covers a very important spot above his head. EX covers basically the screen, uh, not the whole distance, but most of the way. And it goes slowly enough that, you know, you can uh, definitely set up combos and other stuff like that with it. The other thing about Fireball is that you can cancel it. So you can cancel regular Fireball, that is to say Light Punch, Medium Punch, Fierce, into EX Command Dash. Or you can cancel EX, oh, didn't. EX into any Command Dash. Uh, this gives a lot of tricks available to him, and it, it makes for a lot of very interesting mobility and escapes. Um, do note also that you don't need to literally be holding be crouching, I should say, for the charge, you can hide it in other stuff. So one example is stand roundhouse. You can press stand roundhouse, then immediately start holding down. By the time the move is over, you have the charge. Uh, similar for... Um, there it is. For any of the dashes. Uh, and so, you know, in conjunction with mine, uh, you really have a nice space control available to you. And then another thing that's not exactly a special move, but whatever, it's it's Coward Crouch. Down plus three punches, as you can see you get right underneath projectiles. But that's not all it does. It actually has a kick that you can do out of it. Show. Ding, ding. That kick is actually something you can link out of. There it is, right into medium kick. And of course, out of that, you know, you do rush punch. Um, unusual, but very nice. 
as with any zoner, the anti-air options are really important as well. Crouching Fierce hits uh, more or less straight up. Cancelable as well. On that hit. And on the second hit as well, both hits. Stand Medium Kick is really nice as an anti-air. You can see pretty much it attacks where it looks like it does. And Stand Jab is good too. Uh, and of course, this is a very important anti-air for him. You know, it's not really practical to do it on reaction, but a uh, very important preemptive tool. Fang has some pretty important air normals as well. So as I mentioned, very far jump. Jump fierce, adds to that range, extremely far. Jump roundhouse, oh, where was it? Where was it? Oh, well, you see, if you're jumping toward, jump roundhouse always comes out as a cross-up. In fact, if you're jumping backwards, it always comes out going forward. And if you're neutral jumping, it always comes out going forward as well. So it's a pretty unusual looking button. Um, but there, there are some ranges as a result where, you know, jump forward plus fierce is not a cross-up. Jump forward plus roundhouse is a cross-up. So that's pretty important stuff. I also have taken to using jump jab because it's pretty quick. And if I need to get out of some situation, um, it's sort of just a nice escape. No air specials. One of the most unique things about Fang is the V skill. Puts out this little guy, and it just moves across the screen. Yeah, it ends up going away eventually. But as you can see, it moves very slowly. And if it connects with the opponent, it causes them poison. They then take poison damage, which I'll talk about in a bit. Um, but what's strange about it is that it doesn't interact with anything. It doesn't cause hit stun. It doesn't cause block stun. It doesn't negate fireballs. It doesn't get negated by fireballs. It just keeps going until it makes uh, contact with the opponent um, or uh, just goes away on its own. Can't be blocked. It's just coming at you. Fang's E-reversal is a little bit unusual too. He just does sort of a, cra a crab walk. You can see, crab walk. Uh, and gets out of the situation by moving away from the corner. So this is great if you're cornered. Uh, this is an excellent way to get out, but the uses are more than that. Ryu's not the best character to show this against, but if somebody like Chun-Li has legs or somebody like Vega is doing a roll, you can actually escape uh, to the other side behind them and then punish. Very useful. Fang's V-Trigger is probably not super important. You know, it does cause poison. It doesn't hit on activation or anything, but it does cause poison damage over time if you're close to the opponent. Although if you go away, then they can get sort of unpoisoned after a little bit. Or if they hit you, then definitely they will uh, get unpoisoned. And it also cancels stuff. You know, it's for combos and for making stuff safe. It's it's a pretty bare-bones V-Trigger, to be honest. Fang's super is mostly about uh, the combos that you can end it with. A little victory celebration as he falls. Yeah, I like that. Uh, other than that, you know, there are some cross-up tricks you can do with it. There are some rejuggle tricks you can do with it. But for the most part... It's a defensive escape because it is fully invincible, uh, or just combo tool. Combos are not the biggest part of Fang's game, but, you know, let's talk about it anyway, of course. So, if you need something and you're right up close, and it has to be fast, then stand jab, stand medium kick, medium punch, rush punch, probably your best bet. If you're a little bit farther away, crouching strong into jab or EX rush punch can work alright. It is a little bit slower, but if you need that extra range, there you go. An important hit confirm for him, uh, really the only one other than jab medium, uh, is stand roundhouse, links into crouching strong. Um, not the most complicated character when it comes to links and combos. So what do you do if you find a jump in opportunity? Honestly, all I do is this. I know that's very simple, but it seems most efficient to me. And uh, I like it too because you can delay the fierce cancel a little bit, enough time. Oh, as you can see, a little bit of delay, enough time to get charge after you do a cross up as well. As far as uh, crush counter stuff goes, Fang not terribly complex. Uh, if you get a fierce crush counter, you actually can't get stand roundhouse in time in most situations. So best thing to do is probably just another another fierce. Um, as far as the roundhouse itself, it doesn't crush counter, but it does give you enough time to link into the stand fierce uh, afterward. There it is. Um, to give yourself a little bit more damage. If you find yourself with uh, a V-trigger cancel opportunity, if you find a bigger spot, um, again, not terribly complicated. 
pretty decent damage. 292 is not too bad. And of course, again, as always, you leave them poisoned, and that does take off a little bit of extra life. I haven't really talked much about what the poison does. Let's get to that before we get to the rest of this thing. Uh, the way the poison works is that any special move or super or V skill will make the opponent poisoned. And as you can see on the top right there, their life slowly drains just a little bit, very slowly. Poison doesn't last forever, it just went away. And it also goes away if the opponent hits you. So there are these two very important ways uh, to get rid of poison for the opponent. So how should you play Fang? Well, he's the newest character, so Jury's definitely still out. But he does seem like his owner. You know, it's nice to have Roundhouse Mine up uh, as sort of a guard. You can set up some, some fireballs uh, and not have to worry so much about the opponent approaching. That certainly is nice. And unlike most owners, he actually is effective from far away because uh, he can attack many different spots on screen um, pretty quickly in succession. So that's, that's really nice. But he does have some... Sort of mid-range options, nice anti-airs for himself. Uh, he has some trickiness. If you get an anti-air with this guy, you know, you can end up on one side or or the other. You know, depending on what you want to do. Sort of side-to-side -side mix ups, which are which are nice. Um, and you can move around while you're charging. I mean, like I said, you do have down charge for this fireball, but it's not the case that you have to be seated. Um, you can actually Press stand roundhouse, then down charge. Then by the time the end of the move comes, you actually have enough time to, for the up fireball. Same thing for uh, the command dash. So you, you can actually move around and immediately throw a fireball. So he does have some interesting zoning control, a little bit of mobility in there too. Um, hit and run is nice for him. That jump is just so far. This is a range where if I were to jump and not press a button, Ryu's not anti army. I mean, he had, there's no... Dragon Punch that's going to hit me out of this. But from this range, you know, I can hit him if I want to. So that's that's really nice. And he has some trickiness when it comes to being up close. Stand Roundhouse is plus one on block, which means that you can set up some frame traps against some characters. And keep in mind he has this thing. And there's some ranges where it's real ambiguous as to whether you're going to do Jump Fierce or Jump Roundhouse for the not cross-up or for the cross-up. So all these things are sort of going on at once. Got to figure out what we're supposed to do. But it does seem like he has, again, zoning, hit and run, and a little bit of offense in there too. That variability means that it's kind of hard to know what his sweet spot is. He does have some control from far away. Uh, he has nice anti-airs from about here. He has some nice options for himself about here. Hard to know. Hard to know. A lot of different stuff going on. Defensive options. So I said super is invincible. Uh, this is hit invincible and is a great escape. And his V Reversal, I think, is one of the better ones in the game because it lets you punish some stuff that otherwise you wouldn't be able to. And it lets you get out of the corner. Um, offensive options we, we touched on briefly, but you know the mix-up between Jump Fierce or Jump Roundhouse can be really mean. Uh, there are just some real ambiguous spots for it. Uh, frame Traps are in there after Stand Roundhouse. Um, there's, some, there's some interesting sort of knockdown into this, into which side am I going to end up on situations as well. So what should you avoid as Fang? Well, I feel like one of the things to avoid is reliance on this. The V skill is a cool idea, but the poison just doesn't matter as much as controlling space. You're not going to take off as much life via indirect poison as you will via direct hits. Uh, and so I think it's a mistake to get caught up too much in trying to make sure that the opponent is, is poisoned. As for why to play Fang, I think if you're the kind of person who likes picking up new stuff, figuring out new stuff, then Fang might be for you. He's not an older character, a legacy character, who, you know, you know, you more or less know how they're going to play and what their options are going to be and what they're looking for. With Fang, as I've mentioned, there are a ton of different options, and we need to figure out that puzzle, how to put them together and how to make a real, legit character out of them. If you want to be in on that process, he's for you.